Okay, so if I'm going to be exporting out to CAT or um, particularly Eclipse, I would come into my Autoscript web. I'm going to open my file in Autoscript Desktop. Um, desktop Editor will launch. And when it does, most likely, because I didn't clear out my files, it's going to tell me that I have a file already with that name. So I'm just going to add a number to it, right? So I'll just do four, and I'm going to import it. When it does, it's checking the audio. It wants a layout. We pick the default, and we say apply the layout to this job. Now, put my cursor where I want my text. I say, okay. So, put my cursor right here. That's where I want it. And I'm going to come up here and insert my ASR text. Give it a minute, and it's here. And it came over with my audio. All right. So, now, once everything's in there, I touch nothing. I do a cat system export. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to save it? So I go to my desktop. I have a cat auto script folder. I'm just going to give it a name called Eclipse Demo. And it, that's all I do. I don't have to give it a file type. It's going to zip it. Once it comes up and says um, job exported, I now say OK. Now, I'm going to go right back into my folder where um, I saved it. And I see it here, and I'm just going to right-click, and I'm going to extract. Right to the same folder. Don't, don't have to change anything. I always uncheck this box because I don't need to see them. Give it a minute, and now that I know that it's um, extracted. If I open that file, you're going to see I have an audio file and I have an RTF file. What I do is I will right click, copy this audio and go right into my Eclipse folder, right click and paste it so that I already now have my audio. Okay, now I can go down and open up my Eclipse. This is where I'll say tools, Rest uh, convert from another system. It's a text file. It's an RTF file. I want to browse. Browse, because I know where it is. I'm going to browse again. I'm going to go to my desktop, to my cat auto script folder, to my Eclipse demo, and I'm going to find my RTF file. And it's done, finish. Now my audio is already there. So now I just don't open my file. Which one? Eclipse demo. Okay, and when I do, of course, I just go up to the top, and my audio is there. I can play it, stop, my audio is associated. And notice to the right, I have now created steno notes, so I can use all of my Eclipse features. So I'm going to select a speaker A, control G, just change it to Miss Seligman. Keep my S. Right, and it's just Miss Seligman, no um, punctuation, and I'm just going to do for the job. Make sure you do that and don't put it in your main, okay? And I just, you know, I'll yank that one out of there. But then I go to Speaker B. It's the witness. Same thing. Control G. I'm just going to backspace out and put the witness. No punctuation, control J to drop it into my job, not the main. So we're going to come down here. And now I'm going to put Miss Seligman 
into Q&A. So I control G, I just backspace out, again, no punctuation, and just put my Q, control J. Now she's in there. If I need to add my byline, F2 and five, and puts my byline in. Now I come down. And I see speaker C is the witness too. So I just control G. And I'm going to backspace off and I'm going to add the A. Capital A. Control J for the job. And the same thing for the witness. Control G. Make that now the answer. Control J, and now I have a fully formatted transcript along with my audio functions that I can go through and edit just as I would any other file.